Hello and I'm so happy to meet you on my channel people from all over the world. This time I will talk about a subject that might hurt many, annoy others but which I hope will make some of you feel that you are not born in vain in this very special era in which we are now also called the age of revelation or Aquarius. In, it is the age in which everything will be discovered, demystified, understood or even declassified in the end and all of this will inevitably happen because no one can stop a thing whose time has come. We will talk therefore about the well-known and traditional baptism but also about its scientific counterbalance perfectly rational and intelligible, which comes from a civilization very important to us, the civilization who created us in their own image. Now speaking of traditional baptism, this ritual is usually associated with the initiation, admission or conversion to Christianity in all its forms. However, over time it has become a kind of obligation in the sense that no one asks you anymore if you want to be baptized or not. This taking place now only a few months after birth as in the case of the main branches of Christianity. It is incredible that this still happens today when we think that it is a gross violation of the fundamental human rights more precisely of the right to choose your own religion. Because it is a crime for someone to be conditioned from birth or to be converted to a religion without his consent. And in this way, easily, religious fanat fanaticism condition and conditioning was institutionalized and mandated all this being done with the consent of the governments which saw and see only advantages in doing this. In other words, a better control over the most of the population. It is important to note, however, that some branches of Christianity do not apply baptism to unconscious individuals and that is a good thing, of course. But now we will go on with the true meaning of baptism which comes from the Greek baptisma meaning washingism and it has logic because it is always associated with washing or bathing in water. Jesus himself was baptized by John the Baptist in the waters of the Jordan River and after the ceremony the heavens were opened as Bible explains, and Matthew, one of the apostles, heard a voice from the sky saying, This is my son, whom I love, with him I am well pleased. Matthew chapter 3 verse 17 Of course, almost 2000 years ago, everything that came or was heard from the sky could only be something divine or a Holy Spirit. But after 2000 years, the time has come for the to to total demystification. As I explained in the other videos on my channel, and as I'll, I will do in the following ones as well, our life on earth was actually created by humans like us, who came from a another world, but who were easily mystified and transformed into an incomprehensible and totally irrational god by the primitive people of the time who had little choice. These human creators were however called Elohim by the ancient Jews, a term that translates as those who came from the sky and it is found in the Torah or in the first five books of the Bible more than 2500 times, in time being wrongly translated as the well-known God. Elohim sent all the ancient prophets such as Moses, Buddha, Muhammad and many others and now the time has come for their last messenger which is Maitreya Rael, the founder of the International Raelian Movement. 
And now comes the ration, rational explanation for the baptism, which also happened in the case of Jesus of Nazareth. The Raelian baptism, or the cellular transmission, it's a procession in which a wave, a biological wave, is transmitted to a connecting station placed on Earth orbits by the, the Elohim. This connection station records the biological wave that we, the biological entities, emit. Each of us emits a wave on a distinct frequency, a bit like the way we, we touch the strings of a guitar and it then emits a this distinct sound. Today we can understand that we are composed of of cells inside of which there is a nucleus composed of, of chromosomes which contain molecules called DNA or deoxyribonucleic acid. This DNA or genetic code is a specific cellular plan that is, that is unique to each of us and emits a biological wave that we cannot hear and to which our radio and TV station stations cannot connect, but the Elohim can capture these waves from a dis distance and we can also understand this principle because in our current laboratories there is a device called a spectrophometer and uh, that allows us to study and to understand the spectrum of molecular vibrations and in the description you can find some links related to this matter. The transmission of the cellular plan is the most important ritual in, in, in initiating a new Raelian and the procedure is simple. Rael, or a guide empowered by him, puts his, his hands in a vessel full of water to establish good electromagnetic contact and then he places the palm of one hand on the forehead of the future Raelian and the other hand behind the neck. The person's cellular plan or genetic vibration then passes through Rael, which acts as a transmitter and goes directly to the connection station which is somewhere above us and where will be recorded. The process is related to a radio wave that is transmitted from an, an antenna to a satellite and it is like an mp3 song which is transferred in a wireless fashion. So for thousands of years, priests have been baptizing young, young children by putting water on their foreheads without understanding why. Today, thanks to the messages received from the Elohim, we can understand without mysticism how baptism is performed. It is an act of recognition that consists of a ceremony in which you approach Rael or a guide chosen by him to show publicly that you have read and understood the messages from the Elohim which you can all download for free from the link provided in the description. It also shows that you recognize Rael as the messenger of the Elohim and the Elohim as our creators. The purpose of this transmission is as follows. Thousands of years ago, the Elohim came to earth where there was no life at all. Then they created all life forms here, plants, animals and finally human beings. And time went on. Today, however, they would like to meet us once again, but for that to happen, we must, pre we must be prepared to welcome them as they don't want to, for to force us and they will not come without a special invitation. They are waiting for us to show them that we want to meet them and that we have understood who they are. The transmission ceremony demonstrates this recognition and the fact that we want them to come. In realism, things are different concerning children. A Raelian baptism is performed most of the time in the case of adult individuals who have read the messages, understood them and recognize Elohim as our creators. 
It is a matter of choice and that applies for adults in generally. However, in exceptional cases, younger persons are accepted as Raelians, but only after providing, the, after proving they have read the messages and that they understand them and decided by themselves to official, officially recognize the Elohim. And like I said before, it is very disturbing to see how many religions Catholic, Jewish and others perform baptisms of children who do not have the ability to make a rational, rational choice and who therefore become victims of parental choice. This is something shameful that will never happen in realism. Furthermore, before becoming Raelian, anyone who, ha who was baptized before as a Christian or was part of other traditional religion or was even an atheist need to sign an act of apostasy. The act of apostasy is just as important. When the person say to Elohim, I recognize you, it means that he or she has understood who they are. Throughout, throughout history, the Elohim have continually sent messengers known as prophets, almost 40 of them. And today the teachings of Rahel are a continuation of the teachings of these prophets who were lost, altered, distorted and used for political purposes by the traditional religions. And these religions that we know today, be they Islamic, Buddhist, Christian, Jewish and so on, have lost the basis of the teachings brought by those prophets. Therefore, it is not possible for anyone to be simultaneously a member of a primitive religion that is not rational and a member of the Raelian religion which recognizes Elohim as our creators. People must choose, either they belong to one or the other, but not both. Unfortunately, many of us have been baptized against our own will within the religion of the parents when we were very young and in this way we must, we must ask the church to delete our name from its registers and for this we must complete an act of apostasy. It is all a matter of choice that was denied to us when we were registered without without our consent in the faith of our parents. Now we are asking back our right, our right to choose as consenting adults to be part of the Raelian religion and nothing else. Now for the interested ones in this ceremony I announce you that it takes place in four distinct days of the year at 3 p.m. each time as follows. First day on August the 6th when is the Raelian New Year. This new calendar started on August 6, 1945 when the first atomic bomb exploded over Hiroshima. Of course we did not celebrate the horrible event that killed so many people but we marked it as a decisive moment, a turning point in humanity's history. On this day, by demonstrating our technological ability to destroy our own humanity, we also confirmed that we have entered into the age of apocalypse, the age of revelation in which we will finally be able to understand our true ori origins as explained in the messages of the Elohim. In this age, humanity must choose its own future and Raelians will lead the way with peace, love and consciousness. So August 6, 2020 for example will be the year 75 of the Age of Apocalypse written as year 75 after Hiroshima. The Elohim ask us to date our writings using this new calendar. Second day on October the 7th 
is a celebration in remembrance of Rael Maitreya's second encounter with the Elohim, which took place in 1975. This is when he went to their planet and received the second part of the messages. The third day is on December 13, which is a celebration remembering Maitreya's Rael first encounter with the Elohim from 1973. This is when he received the first part of the messages. And finally, on the first Sunday of April, Raelians are celebrating the anniversary of the day of the creation of the first human being on earth by the Elohim. Personally, I did my transmission and became a Raelian on the 6th of August 2006 or 61 after Hiroshima. It was a very special day for me as it was Maitreya Rael himself who did my transmission during my first participation in a continental Raelian event, namely the European Happiness Academy. Since then many things have changed in my life and I see it very differently now. I started to make these videos not long time ago because some something was telling me now is the best moment to do something like this. Having said that, I hope to meet you one day, the next possible one being on the next 6th of August when we'll have a small happiness academy in Romania and in the description you can find more info about this event which will be in English as well. But if you prefer to just continue to inform yourself more, please feel free to subscribe to the channel and activate all notifications as I will post a new video about each week, disseminating more and more this new and fantastic paradigm which will lead us to a paradise on earth finally. Until next time, all the best and many hugs to everyone.